So quite excitingly, we are at Pennybridge Alpacas today, and um, this is a an alpaca farm in Hook. And you can walk the alpacas, you can hug the alpacas, you can have photos with the alpacas. And um, they also breed alpacas, so they have um, lots and lots of alpacas in a big herd, and they're all very very happy with massive fields there. It's really really nice to see. So we've brought Teddy and Albert to Pennybridge Alpacas today just to see what they think of them. Um, we thought that it would be really cute to see their interactions because Teddy, as you can see, he's quite brave. He's sort of marching up to the alpacas and wanting to um, kiss them on the noses. And yeah, secretly, I think we in our heads thought that it might help us potentially persuade certain people that we might need an alpaca or an RA take a farm in the future but you know slowly slowly and Teddy as you can see is really brave sniffing the alpacas on the noses they're actually a little bit more unsure but these guys are only nine months old so they're real babies and yeah it's really sweet to see them interacting <laughs> That face though. These boys are like what? <laughs> Got my own. Gorgeous. Go on, then. Go on, Tuds. Keep going. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's okay. I'm not scared. Look, look. I want to do it as well. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> I reckon half an hour's going to be playing. Yeah. 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 Well done. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. He's like going back to you for a hug. <laughs> He's like, Mom, I did it. I did it. I did it. Good job. 
So in this video, probably the most said phrase is, oh my gosh, their faces are so cute. But look, they are absolutely adorable. Um, this one's called Alan, the little brown one. And he's just so cute and his face is, looks so huggable, doesn't it? So alpacas are actually part of the camelid species and they look quite like llamas. You can see they keep sort of um, snorting almost at Teddy and Albert, just I guess to sort of suss out what they actually are. But um, Teddy and Albert are totally unfazed. As you can see, Teddy's, uh, even though Alan's lying down, Teddy's sort of wanting to sniff and go back for oh my more gosh, and he laid down see what this... Him floofy thing is all about it's all very very cute this is hilarious good boy So there are two different types of alpaca. Albie's walking up to a field of alpacas now, slightly older ones. You can see the ones with the really um, sort of puffy fleece. They're called the hakayas. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then there's um, different types of alpaca with a more sort of clumped together looking dreadlock fleece. And they're called the Suri alpaca. And you'll see a close up of one here. Oh, here is a very Good handsome boy. man. Good boy. Good boy, who is that? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> and he's so constantly like, hello, yeah. be my friend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Will Teddy go nearer? Well, I'm moving this way, but they're getting rid of me. Oh my gosh. These guys look quite intimidating to be fair. <laughs> they are formidable beasts. But they're getting closer, they're getting aren't closer. they? Sort of <laughs> These guys. Favorite one, you Most of the rubbish stays on the outside. So this is an inner so, look. At yeah, an so that's that's hair. a lovely. I see a very nice look at that. Piece. That's hmm? beautiful. It's kind of like an amazing crimp. I would yeah. like my hair to look it's like a, that. <laughs> better a crimp on the animals gives more elasticity to the ultimate fibre. Okay. Is, you know, it's funny to walk. So does that kind of determine the price of Napaka? Like the more Yeah, they're all like to win a show. Okay. The the seventy percent of animals or alpacas taken to a show are judged on the quality of their fleece. Okay. Rather than seventy percent of the marks are the allocated to be that fleece. <laughs> the rest yeah. of that confirmation. Okay. Because they're really expensive, aren't they? So I guess that kind of determines yeah, the they can price. Be. Uh, there are you know, some people knocking about at silly prices, but yeah. if you want one that's going to win a show, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is just so cute. <laughs> this is so cute. They were watching the goats. The goats brilliant, Yes, I think they would learn a seesaw. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. that's so cute. Look boys, you're about to meet a goat. Oh my goodness. Look at this fella. Hello. Look at this circus goat. Did you get a picture? Yeah. I videoed that. So sweet. Oh They're so used to each other now. <laughs> I 
the one thing that we did find um, strange is that they do need extra vitamin A and D. There's only two hours. <laughs> there's only two hours difference daylight um, between here and Peru, mm. but it it, gave, it gives them rickets. Oh really? really? Yeah, Interesting. Rickets, you wouldn't have thought two hours a day mm. would give a species rickets, but um, yeah. They're, I think we're both in our absolute element. Oh, so nice to meet you boys. Bye guys. Molly, do you want to take your Shetland? Yes. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'll do, I'll do good oh, they're walking really well now. Yeah. <laughs> if you put them somewhere, if you put them somewhere new, they they all sort of. Cross over so they can see them. Yeah, cross oh, over and they good. like the I points of the compass. So, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's so clever. Yeah. So we're back now and I can show you the amazing handiwork of John, who did our fencing. It looks so smart. Um, it's only electric fencing because um, fencing is pretty expensive, but we've gone for the really nice um, posts and three strands to keep the boys in. So yeah, this is their new set up. They've got three fields so that one can always be in use and two can always be rested and we'll rotate them. It's quite a lot of flies today actually. Um, <laughs> Rusty, you can't play with ponies like you can with dogs. He thinks he's a pony though, that's a problem. And Albie sort of sometimes plays back with him. So he's chancing his luck. Yeah, as you can see, they are very happy little ponies. So Albie's recently been castrated um, because he was getting a little bit naughty once he realised that he was actually a proper man and annoying the hell out of Teddy. Um, so he is much better behaved now and they can finally be friends again. After they had a bit of a falling out, Teddy sort of was refusing to talk to him whilst he was being so um, mischievous with him. Um, but it's all good now. You can see Albie's lost most of his face hair, but he's still got this amazing beard going on. So I don't really know when would you get rid of that but it's quite funny. <laughs> Do you look very funny? You look very funny. Teddy has lost a lot more of his hair.